Our next guest took a very bad situation in her life and turned it around. During the real estate crash in 2008, Tracy Walker lost her home to foreclosure, filed for bankruptcy, and had her cars repossessed. Five years later, that's all it took, five years, she is a self-made millionaire. She's driving a Maserati. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and she did it all through an online home-based business. I yeah. love this story. Thank you. Tracy, okay, so first of all, uh, five years is not a long time. Right. How did you turn your life around that fast? Well, when you have hardship, sometimes you hit rock bottom super, super hard, and you know that you're not destined to be there. Mm. So I did cry a lot. I prayed a lot. Uh, then I got to work. I said, there's got to be a better way, and I was just relentless until I kind of dug myself out of that hole. And you did what millions of people would love to do. You yeah. found a way to make the internet work for you. Yes. Yeah, the internet can seem a little, you know, scary yeah. at times. But I learned... Well, it's, a, it's a new frontier, isn't it? It totally is. And it's not as technical as people think. When you actually have access to tools and resources, you can just do things without having to know, like, website code or make it very difficult for right. yourself. So what kind of business did you start that made you a bazillionaire? I started a business called... Uh, an affiliate marketing, meaning I didn't have to create it, I didn't have to develop it or manufacture it. I found information products online. I knew that I could sell certain things in reference to marketing, and then I began to learn how to match that with a marketplace that wanted it. And every time I would make a sale, I would make a commission. So you're the middleman. Now. I'm the middleman. Okay. Well, uh -huh. every 12 seconds, somebody starts a home-based yes. business, and most don't succeed. Right. So what are some mistakes that people are making, and how can they avoid those? Well, you know, the, the most important thing, I think, is sometimes people don't really have it in their heart mm. to be an entrepreneur. They want to start a business, but they don't really have the, the integrity behind it. They don't have the initiative. No one's waking you up in the morning right. in this world. Mm -hmm. And no one's telling you what to do. It's either done or it's not. And so I think a lot of the passion has to be there. Well, that's the word. And I think that when you're starting an online business, you must be passionate yes. about what it is you're, you're doing. Yes. Absolutely, because if you're not passionate, then you're just selling. You're selling, you're peddling, as opposed to actually offering a solution to the marketplace and feeling good about any of the transactions that take place for people. And it's important to remember, you cannot expect instant riches. No, this I is mean, not going to happen thing. overnight. It's not. You know, but it kind of helped, happened overnight for you. Yeah, 10 years in the making overnight. See? Right? <laughs> but, but, in, but, but in terms of your rock bottom yeah. to where you are today, yes. that was five years. That's yeah. not really not no, that it's long not. of a time. But but I did work like 18 hour days a lot. Yeah. Uh, I, I was up 24 hours at times. Uh, it was a completely new learning curve for me. I did not have a teacher sitting in my house showing me what to do. Mm. I spent a lot of money on buying tr products and trainings and self-teaching, mm. uh, so to speak. And so it was five years, but it was almost like literally 24 hours a day for right. five years. Yeah, so if you can find a mentor, Get one. Get a mentor. <laughs> I, I would just, I would advise you to cut across the mountain, get a mentor, and the biggest thing is do what they say. How would mm. one go about getting a mentor for, say, a business you're interested in starting? Well, the first thing I would do is probably do a Google search, and if there's an area of business that you're interested in, find the, the people that are listed in that Google search in terms of people who have articles mm. or maybe videos or press releases, and the consistency of a name, I would mm. probably reach out to that person. You say construct a feasible game plan for yes. your success. Yes, yes. It's important because if you want to make $10,000 in a month, but you don't have the skill, well, it's not really that feasible to put yourself under that pressure to do that. Right. It'd be more reasonable to say, you know what, I'd like to learn the skill, and let's at least get a return on my investment first, and then let's see how I can scale that up. And then finally, execute the plan over and yes. over until you see the results. Absolutely. And that's probably the toughest step, isn't it? It is, because people are like gunshot business people, right? right? They want to do something one time, and if it doesn't work, they give up. But a great example I like to use is when you go to the gym and you're looking to get that six-pack, you can't do crunches three times and then walk in the mirror, and <laughs> if you don't see the six-pack, be done with working out. That's you kind of sure. have to go back. Right. right. Yes. Well, okay. Tracy, uh, congratulations. Yeah, way to go. Thank you. Everything. <laughs>